Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Exponential 2022 in Orlando, Florida. And I'm over here talking to Yuri at the Orthodrone booth. How are you doing, Yuri? Pretty good, thank you very much. Good, good. Now, what made me stop by your booth is you have this pretty amazing looking drone hanging over here. I, I don't even know how to describe it, so I'll just let you do it. Yeah, so we basically came up with the design where the drone is the gimbal. So we've got two moving arms and we've got what we call the yoke, which is our roll axis. And those pivot, so when the drone moves anytime it does, it's not really moving, it's all 55 pounds when I'm out, it hits hit by a gust or something. It's just moving its arms and its props and the vectors of thrust in the direction we want it to go. And that stabilizes the payload very well, it gives it a lot more wind resistance, and um, it does look not too bad, does it? <laughs> it looks awesome. So that sort of brings up the question there, you know, why build a gimbal in the middle of the drone? Why not just put your payload on a gimbal? Yeah, absolutely. So it depends. We're, we're coming from a mapping sector. Um, we do mapping in really harsh environments. We do jobs in Antarctica. We work on icebreakers. We work at very high altitudes. And um, what we learned was that we need a pretty big set of mapping sensors. We're using uh, two phase one IXM100 uh, megapixel cameras on there. We're using a LiDAR system by Regal. So to get these survey grade sensors in the air and to get several of them in the air, you inevitably run into weight issues, right? So if you had a setup like this with the dual cameras, you would need a pretty sizable gimbal. And then that gimbal would keep the cameras straight, but your antenna, your GPS antenna, and um, your IMU would always be moving around. So to get better data, actually, you want that all in one package, and then you run out of weight if you need to put that whole package of, say, LiDAR and photogrammetry on a gimbal. So we built the drone as a gimbal, and that allows us to put basically any kind of mapping package on it, and it's always going to be gimbaled. No, that's, that's pretty impressive. And I take it, I mean, this is not your, your usual, you know, 20 megapixel, I'm, I'm plotting a farm. This is hardcore industrial strength mapping you guys are doing. Yeah, it absolutely is. So, like, um, uh, you might want to visit the Phase 1 booth, actually, who make those cameras, but they're top-notch. They usually use them for manned aircrafts, and, and they've now gotten into the UAV, UAV business. And uh, so we do projects like, for instance, we've mapped a dam in the Swiss Alps with a 0 0.5 millimeter resolution. Wow. So for that kind of stuff, you know, you need the right equipment. And as a service provider, we just, we just ran into a point where we realized that, you know, from the data part and from the service part and the market, we could do a whole lot of things, but we didn't have the tools for it. And um, that's why we ended up building this. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about it as an aircraft. I see it's got what looks to me like exhaust on it. So is it some, burning some sort of fuel and what's the flight time, etc.? Yeah, it's absolutely burning fuel. So um, this is a Pegasus uh, GE70 unit we have on there that gives us about four kilowatts um, from a little 70cc water-cooled two-stroke. And that allows us to keep this thing airborne for about two hours in one go. And then you just refuel it, it's five minutes, you go back up. So, like, as I was saying, for those environments we work in, you usually don't have the options to charge up your batteries, right? So with that, you just, you know, you get your vehicle, you get some spare fuel cans, and you can do jobs for, like, hours every day without having to recharge. Well, it makes good sense why you have an aircraft that meets all these standards, given the environment, the mission, etc. But it's also just unspeakably cool looking. So thank you for taking the time to explain it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. And from Exponential 2022 in Orlando, Florida, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.